Is a $3 fish eye going to be any good? Well, today we're going to find out. cheap little fisheye is one of those clip-on lenses that you stick over the camera of your cell phone. And it came in a pack of three along with a telephoto and a macro lens. It was $10 altogether so that equates to roughly a little over $3 for this little plastic fisheye lens. Right off the bat I could see that it was quite blurry which seemed to downgrade the resolution of my phone's camera. There's also a little bit of vignetting around the sides which is very noticeable when you take into account the phone's built-in image stabilization. When you're walking or moving the camera any kind of shaky movements you kind of get this jarring tilted effect on either side which is not really that desirable whatsoever. Another thing to consider is because of the nature of clipping it onto your phone, you have to be kind of precise with how you line it up. If you get it off just a little bit, it's very noticeable in the footage. But enough talking, let's see how this really cheap clip-on phone fisheye lens looks like in some real-life skateboarding situations. I feel like I'm worse than mall grabbing right now. You're hugging. I know. Baby <laughs> cradling. <laughs> So fast, smoke came off it. That's your girl, man. My girl. Baby, <laughs> I'm sorry. You, that you let her down. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> 
So to answer the question at the beginning of this video, is a really cheap fisheye lens going to be any good? Well, that depends. If you're just going to be going out with some friends, getting clips, throwing them on Instagram, yeah, sure, it's a fun tool to have at your disposal just for those purposes. But if you want to have any level of professionalism to your videos, it's not really all too viable for the reasons I mentioned earlier. The blurriness, the vignetting, and just sort of the shakiness because of the in-body stabilization combating with the lens itself, those are all going to work against you in terms of tarnishing the end result of your skateboarding videos. If you're in the market and you have the budget, I would definitely recommend picking up just a cheap $80 to $100 fisheye lens to slap on a mirrorless camera or a DSLR and you're going to have an infinitely better end result. But that being said, not everybody has the budget or the means to do that, in which case it's three bucks. I mean, you, you can't really go wrong getting a $3 lens and adding that extra field of view so that you can get closer to your friends, filming lines, and add a little bit of like that skate feel. I think that's the best thing about this. It's super cheap, super easy, slap on your camera, you get an extra field of view, and it gives that overall feel as like you're watching skateboarding. You know, you see the fisheye distortion, that's a skateboarding clip, that's skateboarding video. There are some companies that make some fisheye alternatives for your phone's camera, in which there's actually a case that you you screw the lens into and it seems to be of much higher quality but those are actually like closer to $200 which is actually a little bit less than what I paid for the fisheye on my main camera which we're gonna take a look at some of that footage to kind of compare and contrast what we see I hope you enjoyed today's video comparing a really cheap clip-on phone fisheye lens to one that is a potentially bit more viable. If you did, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and subscribe for more skateboarding and shenanigans every single week. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. But make sure that you keep on spooting. Comparing a really cheap flip, flip, flip on cone, flip on cone, clip on phone.